One of the most powerful things about Chameleon is the ability to use elements on the page to anchor or trigger steps. But because this is unique for every application, it can get a little tricky. But let's learn how that works. In this example, we have a step that's anchored to an element. An element is essentially a box on the page defined by its HTML and CSS. Once you've selected an element on the page using Chameleon, you'll be able to adjust these selectors right here. Now, this might be necessary if your step isn't appearing as expected. For example, you may want to remove the HTML hierarchy. This defines the order that the element appears on the page. Or you may want to include the text that the element contains as a way to match it specifically. You can also, for example, remove or add the ID or class. Now, you can find out which selectors are on a particular element by simply right-clicking and inspecting that element. For example, like this. This shows that there are a class on the element FA and FA-search, and you can use this in your targeting. You can always get help from your developers on this uh, to understand the specific element selectors, or you can review our documentation to learn a bit more about this.